The first time I saw the Ford Focus Electric was a couple of years ago at the Consumer Electronics Show. The vehicle was driven out on the stage and Ford CEO Alan Mulally kissed it on the hood. That should tell you something about how important this vehicle is to the folks at the Blue Oval. When the Focus Electric showed up at my house in the New Jersey suburbs, the first thing I did was find the 120 volt backup charging cable and I plugged it into the wall. The reason I say backup charging cable is that you're supposed to go to Best Buy and purchase the $1,400 Leviton charging station and the Geek Squad will have an electrician install it in your garage. That charging station uses a 240 volt line and charges the car twice as fast as a regular 120 volt wall outlet. After giving the car a full charge, I drove my mother from northern New Jersey to my favorite market in Harlem and back on a hot day. Of course, I kept checking the battery range as I crossed the GW Bridge. By the time I pulled back into her garage, we had five miles of range left on the car. Of course, I didn't tell her, but of course she asked and then responded, you mean you took your best guess, your old crippled mother in a battery powered car that could have run out on the George Washington Bridge in the heat? By the way, this is the same mother whose best friend said to her son, quote, now that you're a famous Hollywood producer, why don't you get your nose done? He responded, I'll get my nose done when you get a lobotomy. My mother asked, what if you want to go on a long trip in the Ford Electric Focus? My simple answer was, you'll have a lot of time to make bathroom breaks. That said, the Ford Focus Electric isn't really designed for the cannonball run, but more likely the daily run. Ford has a special program where you can buy solar panels to hook up to your charger, which means you can be just as green as Kermit. It should be pointed out here that you don't have to wait for a full charge before you drive away. By the way, the press materials say you'll get 76 miles from a full charge. I think that estimate may have been created in Kansas with a tailwind and the air conditioner turned off and a jockey at the wheel. In the real world, or at least my version of it, I managed to drive about 23 miles from my house in Midtown Manhattan and back without recharging. As far as errands go, I could go to the dry cleaner and the drugstore, but I'd have to have the pizza delivered. A friend of mine who bikes to work from the suburbs had no problem fitting his bike into the Focus Electric when he folded down the rear seat. There was actually a surprising amount of room in the back of the Focus Electric despite the battery. Speaking of the battery, here's something really cool. In addition to the car sending you a message on your smartphone when it's finished charging, you can also stick your head in the garage every hour or so if you're really bored and see the LED ring grow around the plug that you attach to the car. When the ring is complete and stops pulsating and then goes dark, the car is completely charged. Ford says the cloth seat fabric is made with a fiber called Reprieve, which is produced from 100% recycled materials. The cushions are made of bio-based foam derived from plant seed oil. The single speed transmission is specially built to handle the high RPM range that comes with an electric motor. One of the reasons the car is peppy is that electric motors don't have to build up compression, meaning you get maximum torque from the time you step on the accelerator. You can use your smartphone to set up a departure time and ideal temperature for the interior of the car so that it is heated or cooled to your liking while the car is still plugged in but before you hop in and drive off. The advantage to this is that you won't have to get into a freezing cold or scorching hot car and since the Focus Electric preconditions the car while it's still plugged into the wall, you won't affect your battery charge. Ford's big selling point is that with the 240 volt charging system, the Focus Electric will reach a full charge in half the time of a Nissan Leaf, which is the vehicle Ford sees as its chief competition. Since the Focus Electric doesn't use any gas at all, the EPA has come up with a formula it calls MPGE, which is miles per gallon equivalent. The MPGE of the Focus Electric is 110 city and 99 on the highway. The car costs about $40,000. There's a federal tax credit of $7,500, which brings the price of the Electric Focus down to 32 grand. Some states offer additional tax credits, which could bring it down to around $30,000. My conclusion after about a week with the Ford Focus Electric, you get used to plugging it in when you get home. Some of it depends on what you find more convenient, never having to go to the gas station again or never having to worry about battery range. 
I'm Grant Winter reporting for Real World Test Drive.